Hello, I'm Brigitte. Welcome back to Faithful in Finances. Here we talk about biblical principles and we talk about practical financial principles that we can use so that we can manage our money properly and be a blessing to not only our own family, but all of humanity. Now today, I want to talk about interest rates and how we can use wisdom and ensure that the increasing high interest rates that we are seeing, well, we actually use them to our advantage as part of our financial journey. I don't know if you've noticed, but if you've paid any attention to what's going on around you in the financial arena, interest rates have gone up. If you're looking at a house right now, interest rates are over 8%. Not only that, but if you're looking to buy a brand new car and you have excellent credit, this is with excellent credit, you can expect that the average interest rate is over 12%. And it doesn't stop there. If you're using a credit card, the average is now approaching 25%. Now, when I say average, that means that there are obviously some interest rates that are lower, Ooh, but there are also some interest rates that are higher. Now that all sounds like bad news, but not exactly. There is some good news in there, especially for people who happen to be savers because the interest rate available on things like certificates of deposits, and we'll talk about it a little bit later, high yield savings accounts, you know, we'll break it down and talk about it later, but those interest rates are looking really good now. In the past, they didn't look so great, but today they're looking pretty good. And if you've got some cash and you want to park it in a safe place and earn a decent return on it, well, maybe you need to consider these types of accounts. Now, let me say this again. I am not a financial expert. I am not a financial advisor. I'm sharing with you my experiences, my research that has helped me and my family, and I hope it can help you as part of your financial journey. But as always, pray on it, do your own research, and talk to a financial advisor if you can. So first things first, what's a CD? What's a high yield savings account? Well, these are pretty simple actually. So a CD, a certificate of deposit, right? It is a savings product that nearly every bank, nearly every credit union or brokerage house offers. And what you do is you take your money and you allow it to be tied up for some specified time period. And for that, you're going to get some guaranteed return. So you may have to allow the financial institution to keep your money for three months, nine months, 18 months. And in exchange for that, they're going to guarantee you interest at the end of that time period for some specified rate. Now a high yield savings account is kind of what it sounds like. It is a savings account, but it offers considerably more interest than you would get on your normal old savings account. Now there are some advantages of having certificates of deposits or CDs and high yield savings accounts. As I said, the rates are now more competitive. They used to be pitiful and sad, but they're now more competitive. You can often get FDIC, and that is a federal agency that provides insurance. There's nothing you have to do if you have less than $250,000 in a bank, uh, some kind of a financial is institution, they are insured under FDIC, and that's up to 250,000 per account owner. With a CD, you're guaranteed some rate of income after a specified time. Now with high yield savings accounts, that interest rate can go up or the down. The other thing is that you can often 
open, especially a high yield savings account online. Pretty easy to do with some very basic information. And with a high yield savings account, you can get your money out without any kind of penalty. I keep talking about the fact that rates of returns are much better now, much more competitive than they have been in the past. There are some CDs and some high yield savings accounts that are offering as much as 5%. That is nearly 10 times what you would earn on the average savings account. And according to bankrate.com, the average that you would earn on a normal, regular, old, plain old savings account is about 0.6% versus 5%. That is huge. That is huge. And that hasn't been the case. I mean, for a while there, sometimes those savings accounts were offering like 0.03, 0.04. And I just said, that's an average 0.58. So there are some institutions that are offering much, much lower rates. There are some challenges when it comes to CDs and high yield savings account. And you need to keep these in mind. The first is that those interest rates that I was just bragging about that I said were 5%, well, they're very flexible. With a CD, you're gonna tie that rate in for some period of time. But at the end of that time, let's say it's six months. Well, when your six months is up, there's no guarantee that you're going to be able to continue to get a high level of return of 5% or more. That may drop down to 3%, 2%. We honestly don't know. The same thing can happen to a high yield savings account. The difference is you're not even guaranteed for any specified amount of time. Nobody has a crystal ball. We don't know if interest rates are gonna go up more or if they're going to go down. And so you were suddenly smiling and happy about that 5% and you know what? It could go away. The other thing is with a CD, I said you're allowing a financial institution to hold on to your monies for some specified period. Let's say it's 18 months, but you know what? Life does happen and because it happens, you may need that money before 18 months. You may need that money in say nine months. You can get it out, but it's going to cost you. And sometimes those penalties or those fees for getting, yes, is your money, but getting your money out could be high. And so you wanna think carefully about how long you wanna tie your money up. With high yield savings accounts, you can get the money out. Here's the thing, all financial institutions do not offer high rates. So you gotta do some research. There are some sites that track these things for us. I mean, you know Google is our friend, right? I like to use bankrate.com and I'll put that link um, down in the description. And I also like to use Nerd Wallet. And what they do is they list out for you what are, if there are, any minimum deposit requirements. Because some institutions require you to have some minimum, $500, $1,500, $2,500. So you wanna make sure that you look at those kinds of things. And then you wanna, of course, look at the rate itself. That if you are a saver, this is your time to shine. That's our financial wisdom step for the day. And here's the other one. Don't just think about it and talk about it. Take advantage of these increasing interest rates for as long as they last. God bless you. Pray that this helps.